Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Uh, my name is Maddie, and today, today I'm gonna be getting ready, kind of. This is more of a tutorial. I'm gonna show you guys how to do this kind of sunny, summery yellow eyeshadow look. Very, very easy, like ridiculously simple, three steps basically. But if you guys wanna see how to achieve this look, then just keep on watching because I'm gonna show you. Okay, so to begin the look, um, please ignore my eyebrows. They look like shit today and I'm fully aware. Um, but to begin the look, I'm gonna go in with, this is the Tropical Times 9 palette from MAC. Um, I'm gonna go in with this color right here, this top middle one. That one is called Bright Sided. And I'm taking that on a Morphe M518 and I am bringing that into the crease. This eye look is going to be quick as hell because I already know, like, I mean, it's like two shadows and that's kind of it. My nose is running. Oh no. Ugh, allergies strike again. So next I'm going to go in with the ABH Subculture Palette, which I'm sure you guys already know that I love. Um, and I'm going to go in with this color right here called Edge, that yellow, like that mustardy kind of color. Um, I'm taking this in on a Morphe M505 brush. Man, I've really been into Morphe lately. Damn, their brushes are honestly, like, pretty nice. But I'm just taking that mustardy kind of color, and I'm just kind of lightly buffing that into the crease. And then with the other brush, I'm just going to go in and kind of buff over that edge to really make a nice kind of, like, gradient. So the ABH Norvina palette is out, and I don't know, to be honest, like, the color scheme just, like, doesn't really appeal to me. Like, I love the texture of the shadows, I love the quality of the shadows, um, subculture, obviously I love. I also own Modern Renaissance, but I, like, rarely ever dip into it. I mean, like, rarely ever dip into it. The only reason that Cypress Umber is so, like, has that deep well in it is because the shadows are just so softly pressed. Um, I think I haven't used this in, like, a year. I just don't... I don't know, like, the color scheme is nice and all. Like, it's fine. But honestly, the colors that I end up using the most are these over here, these guys over here. I don't use any of the ones over here. And so with subculture, like, clearly I more use the neutrals, but I feel like they're so, like, mixed around. Um, I love the shimmery shades, um, especially a door, and that's a nice one. Um, I don't find myself using these guys as much over here, but, like, I don't know. It's just, to me, these shades, the depth of these shades just calls to me more than Modern Renaissance, like, literally ever has. And I bought that palette when it first was released because I was so pumped and then I used it a few times and I put it away and I just don't really use it anymore. Now that it's a bad palette, I just, I don't know, I just don't find myself reaching towards it. Um, and it honestly, to me, has the same kind of quality as subculture. So everyone who was like subculture shit but modern renaissance is the best, to me, like, they're virtually the same. So I'm gonna take a MAC 239 brush with the color edge again, the mustard yellow. And I'm just going to go uh, all over the eyelid. Okay, so now I'm going to start on the face. Um, I've broken out quite a bit over here. Um, probably my shitty eating habits. And also, I'm a bit of a picker. So there's that too. I'm going to go in with a primer, which I don't usually use. But I got a sample from the... Um, Nordstrom Anniversary Sale, uh, but this is the YSL Instant Moisture Glow, um, and I'm mostly using this just so I can use it up, not because I really like using primer. But it looks like this. Um, I've used it a couple of times now. It's nice. It has a really nice kind of like watery, like gel type of consistency. Um, it's supposed to be very hydrating, and it doesn't feel moisturizing. It just kind of feels like nothing. It has a bit of, like, a slip to it, which I don't, like, 
love it's a honestly it's a really like unique type of texture um but pretty much all of ysl's products are heavily scented so if you've got any type of sensitivity i might stay away i am going to take um, because my skin's looking a little shitty. Um, I'm going to take the Pro Longwear Nourishing Waterproof. I'm going to take a bit of NC30. And I'm going to mix the tiniest baby amount of NC15. Okay, I feel like my face is... I feel like I can never... Because, like, here's the thing. I am not an NC30 in Pro Longwear Nourishing Waterproof. Not yet. Um, but I'm also definitely not NC15. Um, so I'm definitely somewhere in between, but I can't seem to find, like, the right mixture that, like, looks good, because you can see, like, well, maybe it doesn't look, doesn't look too bad. Last time I did this, uh, foundation mixture, or the shade mixture, I should say, um, I definitely fucked it up, and I was far too light, like, I mean, like, very, very light, like, I had a ghost face. Um, and I feel like I could just can never get the combination right. I went in with just a little bit of NC15, and I feel like it still just looks too, like, way too light. Like, look at this. This is, that's not okay. I'm taking my concealer. This is the NC25 from MAC. It's the Studio Finish which I definitely love and I've talked about a couple times and I just take it with the butt of my beauty blender and just kind of press that into the skin. So then I'm just going to go in with the Too Faced Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer Super Coverage. Um, this is the color Almond. I really, really like this. This is such a nice concealer. I don't love like full 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 coverage concealer but I don't know there's just something about this concealer that I really really like I also love the packaging I love the doe foot applicator again it's a little bit like tart shape tape not that I've tried shape tape but you know from what I've seen online um but you can see the coverage is obviously nice I love this color too I just feel like it suits me so so well right now so, yeah, really been loving this. I'm not even that much of a fan of Too Faced anyway, but this is, like, super duper nice. Originally getting the concealer, I didn't think that I would have to set it, but it turns out I do. Um, so to set it, I am just going to use my good old MAC Studio Fix Perfecting Powder. So I'm going to wrap up the under eyes super quick. Um, I'm just going to go in again with that MAC um, Bright Sided Shadow. I'm pretty much doing the exact same thing that I did on top, on the bottom. That was with a Morphe M506. And then with an M507, I'm going to go in with Edge again and do the same thing. And I'm going to take the Lancome Le Crayon Miracle. Le Crayon Miracle. Lumiere. D oh, defatigeant. I. Anyways, I'm gonna take this white pencil from uh, Lancome. It's supposed to really like brighten up the under eyes, or not the under eyes, but the waterline. I'm just gonna take that and uh, apply it. I rarely, like, if ever, use white eye pencils on the waterline. To me, I just feel like. I don't know, I just prefer like a darker pencil because it's like more of a smokier eye, but for the sake of this yellow kind of look, we're going to do that. I feel like in this lighting, I'm looking like super like sickly looking and I feel like it might just be that I'm wearing a really light foundation. I didn't mean for it to be this light, but you can definitely see like there's a bit of a difference. So to counteract that, I'm going to bronze the shit out of my face. Um, I'm going to take Earthnet um, onto my finger, and I'm just going to dot that on as per usual. I think I'm also just going to add it a little bit down here too.
then I'm going to highlight using the Hush Cream Color Base from MAC. To bronze up my skin, I'm going to be using trusty old Viana Bronze. We're going to try and get my face up to par with the, the rest of my body. So then for a highlight, I'm going to mix two different things. I'm going to mix um, Soft and Gentle from MAC and Champagne Pop from Becca. This together just creates the most beautiful, like, just obscenely stunning highlight. It just looks like dewy, like, wet skin, which I love. It, it can be very easy to go a little bit heavy handed with this, but I just kind of like gently just like, you know, kind of lightly dust that on. And especially since Champagne Pop has quite a bit of pigment to it, I don't want to go in with too much of a heavy hand. But you can see that's definitely just super beautiful. I'm really, really loving this combination. I've been doing that quite a lot lately. And then for blush, I'm going to be using something that I've really also been liking lately. This is a Tarte blush, and I don't really use Tarte all too often. I say that, but I also have really been loving using the Chrome Paint. But I feel like that's just so different from the rest of their collection that it's okay. But I'm going to be using, um, this is the Fairy Flush Amazonian Clay 12-Hour Blush. And the color is also really beautiful. It's just kind of like a nice like cool tone pink and I don't usually wear cool tone pinks but it's a beautiful blush and I also find it hard to over apply it which I love because I can sometimes go a little hard with the blush I'm gonna pop on some mascara on camera which I don't usually do but there's a mascara that I've been really liking lately um, again I got it as a sample when I shopped the Nordstrom anniversary sale this is the YSL the shock mascara it's really, it's got like really cute kind of like metallic pink and black packaging. Um, Wand reminds me a lot of like the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara, which I used to love but swapped out for a 3D Black Lash from MAC. Um, just because this one doesn't like transfer a whole bunch like the Better Than Sex does. Um, but I love this wand. I feel like this makes my lashes just look so, so nice. Like, really big, but also very fluffy. And I don't really like to apply mascara on camera. But this is just, like, so, so nice. But this also has a scent to it. So, <laughs> again, if you are sensitive to smells, maybe not. So I'm going to pop on a lash off camera, and then I'll be back to decide a lip. Okay, so I've got my lashes on. I'm wearing MAC 48s, and I just swatched a bunch of lip colors on my hand because I'm not really sure. I wasn't really sure which one I wanted to do, but I'm thinking of leaning towards the uh, this YSL guy down here. Um, I picked this up at Sephora like a week or two ago, I want to say. Um, it is the... Um, Volept Liquid Color Balm in the color number four. Um, these are so, so nice. I'm sorry. I've been so into YSL lately. Oh, you know what? My lips be hella chapped. Let's do some lip balm first. I'm just throwing on a little bit of MAC lip conditioner. And then I'm going to go into the Volept Liquid Color Balm. Um, but as I was saying, these are so nice. First of all, look at this friggin' applicator. It is shaped like a lip. It's so cute. Um... But I really like these. I picked this up, this color, uh, about a week and a half ago, two weeks ago. It was $32 at Sephora. Uh, I kind of just went into like swatch some things and like try some stuff on. Um, I've really been into sheer, glossy lately. Definitely inspired by Samantha Robindahl. 
So I swatched the um, like the Hourglass Lip Dudes, um, some of the Marc Jacobs ones, um, Lancome, and I swatched some YSL as well because I'm a really big YSL junkie. And I swatched it in store. I applied it in store with the applicator, um, one of the disposable ones because, you know, I ain't dirty. And I just really, really enjoyed it. They have just such a, they have a really nice scent, but it's very strong. Of course, all YSL products are strongly scented. Um, but it's like, a, like, um, like a peach or like an apricot kind of mixture. Really, really nice and sweet. Um, they feel so luxurious in the lips. I love the color. Like, they're really sheer, but you can build them up a little bit. And I just love the way these apply, the way they feel. It's almost like water, like really watery, like with just really nice and luxurious feeling. Um, I'm really, really into these. And I also love the packaging. I think it's cute. Like the silver with like the baby pink um, chrome. I just think it's really pretty. Oh, you know what? I didn't highlight the inner corner. I think I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do Crystal Avalanche from MAC. That was just the first thing that I saw in my drawer and uh, that's what I'm feeling. So that is it, you guys. I hope you really enjoyed this quick tutorial on this really fun, um, kind of bright, summery look. If you guys would like to see more of me and this face, and please um, hit that like button, subscribe, because I'm going to show you more of this face. Thank you guys so much for watching. Again, uh, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.